Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. Now, the dry season is supposed to be the period when you're meant to harvest the biggest amount of energy for your solar system. All right, I mean, it's a no brainer. There are lots of sunshine, there are no rains. It's just the perfect weather that you need uh, to bring in a lot of energy to your solar panels, down to your systems, and to meet your energy needs. But, Ironically, sometimes during the dry season, you notice that your system is really struggling to bring in energy because the batteries are barely charged. The batteries go off when it shouldn't. All right. And you're wondering what exactly is the problem? Are my batteries failing me? Is anything wrong with my solar charge controller? Should I worry about my inverter? None of this on the listed components or devices might be the problem. Here is the real culprit dirty solar panels all right so when your solar panels are dirty all right it cuts down the output level to as much as 30 percent 40 percent or even 50 percent and now that's a remarkable amount of energy for you to lose in your solar system now think about it if you were driving down the road and you had your windshield covered with dust are you going to be speeding of course not you will definitely slow down because you're struggling to see through the windshield that's exactly what's happening here in the solar panel the solar panels um, cells are covered up and it's no longer seeing the sun and the output is completely brought down and when the dust settles on the solar panels it covers the eye of the solar panel which is a cell now the cell no longer sees the sun and absorbs the photon as much as it should thereby reducing the output level or the energy level in your system so always ensure that your solar panels are kept clean washed all the time to ensure that that energy energy that you need comes in handy all right so if this is your first time on this channel or if you've been coming to this channel please kindly subscribe all right uh, press that bell icon so that we can notify you when we have brand new videos coming up all right thank you guys and if you have comments don't forget to leave your comments below uh, anything you want me to talk about something that you're finding it very difficult to figure out I could do a full video for you all right thank you guys so very much for being part of this so we'll essentially do like a practical test to show to you how much of energy is cut down when you're solar panels are very dirty all right so we'll choose one of the solar panels uh we would wash one of the solar panels then we would leave the other one to be as dirty just the way it is all right so we'll do an output test and see which one is going to give us a better output is it a dirty solar panel or is it going to be the clean solar panel all right so to be able to do this test we have provided uh, two batteries here which are both of them are 12 volt um, 75 amps battery so that's what we're going to use um, the batteries are going to form the load and the batteries are going to be connected to these two watt meters that has been provided here um, the watt meter will be connected to the solar panels um, one of the watt meter and the 75 amps 12 volt battery will be connected to the clean solar panel while the other one will be connected to a dirty solar panel so the clean solar panel is going to be connected to one whilst the um, dirty solar panel is going to be connected to one all right so the watt meter is going to be taking the reading real time from the solar panels then we'll be able to determine which should give us a better output all right so it's not difficult okay so if you have access to your solar panels you should be able to clean them once the solar panels are clean more energy definitely comes into your system so this is how you clean it it's not so tough all right so you just dip water and you begin to clean your solar panels just this way with water you can use soap if you want to use soap all right um, that would um, get it all cleaned up and once it is clean it's more power so a cleaner solar panel essentially guarantees you more uh, solar energy in your system all right so now that the solar panel is washed clean we're gonna do the output test right, so let's look at the energy level right now to see what is coming in here is the output for the clean solar panel and it's coming at 103 watts um, the output for the clean solar panel is coming at 103 watts so let's check out the dirty solar panel all right so here's the dirty solar panel and it's coming at 42.7 watts the dirty solar panel is giving us 42.7 watts okay so we're going back again to the clean solar panel is 103 watts 
all right and the dirty solar panels still is 42.7 uh, what so you can see the wide range of difference in the variance. So now you see that a clean solar panel generates more energy than a dirty solar panel. So don't let your solar panels get dirty, all right? Because when it gets dirty, the output level is cut down to as much as 50%, all right? So it's important that your solar panel is always clean so it guarantees you more energy. Thank all right, you, guys, so that's the very much we can take today. Thank you so much, guys, for being part of this. It's Silly Kena from Smiling Sun, everything, solar and installation everything inverter installation everything going green see you in the next video